So I appreciate the instinctive decision that you gave your son back then. So does that mean is is the answer to learn how to detach from outcomes to learn how to detach from these? No, that's too prescriptive. No, that, that, that's so that's back to prescription again. What, what, it is a, the reason that you ask me what do you do is because you haven't explored it. Okay, listen, Mo, if you were sitting in a chair and there is a snake under your chair. The only knowledge that you need, the only information that you need is for me to tell you that there's a snake under your chair. Damn right. After, after having obtained that information, one person might sit perfectly still. One person might jump off the chair and run down the hall. One person who has experience with snakes might reach down and grab the head of the snake. One person might pull out a knife from his pocket and cut the snake in half. What the person does is irrelevant. It is simply that he must be armed with the knowledge and the insight that there is a snake under the chair. No one needs two pieces of information. The information of the snake and what do I do? They only need the first piece of information. What then is confidence? How do you define confidence? That isn't about definition. Um, is it a feeling? Confidence comes from systems. If you are performing a task, in order to have confidence in that task, you have to have a system that performs the task for you, and you execute that system every time. Even if that system doesn't always produce the desire that you, the, the outcome that you want 100% of the time, then you go back and you refine the system. But confidence is more about surrendering yourself to a system than it is about you trying to produce a certain in, uh, outcome. Because if, you, if each time you don't rely upon a system and you yourself try to produce a certain outcome, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most times it doesn't. As a result, you will lose confidence in yourself because it is yourself that is doing the action. But if you create a system, then the system does the action. And you have confidence in it. A person has confidence when he rides in a boat that the river will take him down itself. He will not have to paddle necessarily. A flowing river will take him downstream. He has confidence in the river. If the river was completely still and he jumped into the river, and it was up to him to make every paddle and splash, then sometimes he may get down the river, other times he may get tired, he would be very ineffective and spotty. Therefore, he would lose confidence in the fact that he's able to consistently make himself go down the river. So I believe that in whatever task it is, whether it's professional sports or whether it's business, whatever it is, to create a system that can be relied upon. And each time you execute that system, you test its efficacy. And after having received the data as to how 
efficient that system is, you go back and refine, refine, refine until the system produces the outcome that you desire most, if not all of the time. And then that is the thing that you have confidence in. To rely totally upon ourselves is a very ineffective way to go about things. 